So welcome to Beards and Baseball, because i got a pretty sweet beard and we love talking about baseball. Now here at Beards and Baseball, we like talking about the world of baseball and the news that's happening in the world of baseball. We like to talk about it in a short enough time where you don't have to actually watch the highlight or have ESPN to know what's going on. And so recently, we talked about Melky Cabrera getting suspended for 50 games for a positive test of testosterone. And Melky is an idiot. And, well, I shared my personal views on that. You can go and look at that video. But it actually happened again a few days later. Bartolo Colon, the pitcher for the Oakland A's, suspended for 50 games for a positive test of testosterone. Now, when you look at Bartolo Colon, it's similar to Melky. This is a 39-year-old pitcher. He's been pitching since 1997. When he was 32 years old, he actually won the Cy Young Award. But in 2010, he couldn't get a job with a team. So all of a sudden, he finds himself back in baseball with the Oakland A's this year, and he's got a 3.43 ERA at the age of 39. That should throw some red flags. But the thing about this is actually that this is the second player from the Latino community to test positive for testosterone. So Victor Conti, the actual the dealer from all the Barry Bonds stuff that we heard about with the cream and the clears back in the early 2000s, said that the only way that you can actually get busted for testosterone is to be an idiot. You gotta just gotta be dumb. So Bartolo Colon, you fall in line now with Melky Cabrera and just being dumb. Why would you do this? Actually, I understand why you do this. You're a 39 year old that was out of baseball at the age of 37, you wanted to get back, you wanted to be able to be back in the game, and so you decided to cheat. Well, like we talked about with Melky, that's just stupid. Don't do it. Now, the real thing is going to be seeing, is this a trend that happens and continues to happen in the Latino community? Or, as a result of these two suspensions happening in the last week, is there going to be a more stringent ability to go after these dopers, these people who are cheating the game? Because, see, the world of baseball is one that has to do with purity and, and keeping the, the laurels of the game intact. That's what baseball is all about. Steroids is one way that it actually gets ruined. So, Bartolo Colon, you now join Melky Cabrera as being one of those people that ruin the history and the laurels and the purity of the game of baseball.